up everybody, this is Beetle5, keeping the beat with Frambo. When we last left off, we uh, were falling down the off the bridge after the giant antelope man attacked us. And now I lost Fran, but I'm playing as Mr. Midnight now, and that's freaking sick. So, let's go around. At least it's not good that her clothes are here. These are Fran's stockings. Yes, and her shoe. And her dress. Oh, oh, what did I just do? Ah, what an ug- Oh! The tree's got a face on it! Kitty, kitty, stop it, what are you talking about? Fram- Oh my god. What is it, my dear? Of course it's me! Oh my god, Fran is the tree! Fran, you are a tree! Don't be silly, help me get up. Oh my god, I did not expect that. Wait just a second, where are my hands? Why can't I move? I'm telling you, my dear, you have become a tree! <laughs> what? But how? Oh, my dear, but this was the end of the line. The big monster did this. I know it, Kitty. He won't let us go home. I hope he won't come back. He was very scary. He always comes back. I think I remember him from that night that my mom and dad died. Kitty, I don't want to talk about it. I just want to go home. But you are a tree, my friend! A tree! <laughs> I can't carry you all the way back home. I'm not sure where we are, either. I, am I going to die, Kitty? Tell me. Please don't say that. Don't leave me. Well, she's not going anywhere. I feel so- Oh, wait. Leave like as in spiritually- Oh, what the fuck? Hello? It's sad people! Humka ik ni ma hula. Korke krokle ik run mana. Posko halala ni. Ik ni jokol vante. It's a root man. He's made of- It's a root- Uh, what the fuck? Ah, be careful, sir. Why are you attacking me? Could you please tell me where I am, sir? Puck, kick on, hula! Stop it! I'll scratch you! Oh, snap. Hula! Run ma ikni! What are they saying? Oh, my kitty, why is this happening to us? Hula! These guys are funny. Stop attacking me, please, I mean no harm. Hula ikni vante! Kitty, help me! Find my purse, please, maybe I can do something about this. See what I can do, friend. Stop attacking my friend. Ca oh, he's a carrot! What the fuck are you? Hello, vegetable, sitting on a boat. That's nice. Guess I'm looking. For oh, I can't take pills as a kitty cat. This must be a lot easier than. Oh. I used my mouth. Oh, her purse is here. Oh, what the fuck? I have seen some mechanics. Oh, yeah. What the hell? I don't get it. Why is it doing that? We have to constantly turn. What in the fuck? I had to reach it somehow. Yeah, obviously. Uh, friend. I don't really know what I'm doing. I can't reach it. <laughs> what do I do? Why not? Oh dear, do something. Bridge isn't working. <laughs> I don't know how the fuck I get it. That's just perfect. Well, make it work. I can't really help you from here. There are some round things that keep on rolling back. Well, do something so they won't roll back up. Roll on back then. Hey, Kitty, I love you. Thank you for helping me. Yeah, yeah. You're kind of being a bitch, but that's alright. Well, uh... Oh, let's pick up one of these things. Ha! Ah, look at this little light gonna be holding out of my mouth. That's adorable. Um, these are... Oh, there we go. Bada boom. Grab that purse. Only because I'm the best. You're damn right, I'm the best kitty cat that ever was. Oh, can I open a purse now? Oh no, lag. <laughs> Did I break the game? Oh, no, oh, okay, I'm um, okay. Alright, can I read this book? This is a mysterious book. I oh, yeah, right, because kitties can't read. I was a little kitten then. Can I use kitty use a knife? I won't do this. Did I, I got the purse. That's amazing, you are the best, Mr. Midnight. Now show the sir who is attacking me my family picture. Maybe he understands what a human is. Well, I really hope he does. 
that works. Unam ni uka ah runman paskin uluto. Oh shit! That made it worse. That was not good. That's not good at all. They want to help you, friend. I can feel it. Oh really? Really? You could? Th I, I somehow doubt that. Ik runma epo. Don't be afraid, my friend. Kitty, stop them! Please don't leave me. I will be right here with you. Galopama! Galopama! Oh, maybe they do intend to help. Okay. I just somehow didn't believe that. That seemed a little bit too bullshit. Chapter 3. Vegetative state. Vegeta vegetative state. <laughs> okay. Something tells me this is going to be real fucking nice to pull out the players here. Oh my god, look at this. This is the king of vegetables. Itmen bal mono kasbe zia li hula unum. Irushmai iptum gorska imitan ul frio. Gorska zia o. Do your magic. Whoa, hello. Welcome, creature. My name is Yar. Do you speak human? Oh my goodness, yes. Finally, words I understand. Human. That's the language. My good friend Rai told me that you showed him an illustration. With four humans and a cat. I assume you are one of them. The little girl. How could you assume that I'm the little girl of the three of them? Please forgive my good friend if he scared you. We have never seen a human looking like a tree before. Uh, yeah, let me explain to you. Ho 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 ho! Ho ho ho! I am the tree version of Santa. No need to speak, my child. The sea will show me everything. Iptem monokas ecto, ecto bro, ecto prote. Bro. The hell? I bear fruit! I want head fruit. Can I have a piece? I'm gonna figure out how to grow head fruit now, because I want some. Let me see. You are good. No doubt about that. A seeker of the truth. Very common of the Bo family tree. Ah, your name is Fran. You are the girl with the passion for life. I see great love towards this little creature standing next to you. A cat, protector of gates. Interesting, protector of gates. You can see all that, just the fruit. See what the fuck? Be quiet. Oh, pfft. okay. I see something else. The sea doesn't hide anything. I see a world nobody should see. Nobody except for one. You're making me dizzy. What do you mean by except for one? You mean a monster? You are not supposed to be here, friend. No shit. What'd you do with that fruit? See, brother. That is the only thing I can tell you, my child. Well, maybe how about this? Can you help me? We can't let you leave now. It's too dangerous for us. You should never have been aware of our existence. Oh shit, is this one of those things where I'm gonna be stuck here forever? And I'm like, it's like how in the Spiderwick Chronicles, they, they, we can't technically know that they exist, so they keep us there forever. There must be a way. Am I dead or something? Dead? What do you mean by that? You know, when you no longer exist? Besides, it's not normal to be a tree. I must be dead. Death is nothing more than the absence of love. Once you can't feel love, you die. Even if your body still walks. Okay, just help me get back home. Listen, little cat, come closer. Let me see you. What is your name? My name is Mr. Midley. That is indeed a very pretty name. Do you think Fran should go back home? Um, yes, I do. <laughs> Show us the way back home, I implore you. Oh, I have a question. Are you the king? <laughs> you are hilarious. Yes, I am the king. The king of Itarsta. Itarsta. Okay. What an honor, your highness, of King Itarsta. By the way, I like your leaves. They are pretty. Uh, yeah, just will you freaking help me, King of Itarsta? Why is the need of you going home so great? The sea told me a story. You don't have much to go back to. Oh. Huh. Never thought of it that way. Why do you want it? Well, I guess I got Aunt Grace. There are many reasons, sir. But the most important is my aunt. Yeah, she will protect me. I want to feel that somebody cares about me. I feel confused almost all the time, and I want to be someplace where I feel at home, sir. The sea. You are very brave. I just want to go home. Please help me. All right, come on. There are things I cannot do. But I will help you. I will lead you to the door that will take you home. But it's your own task to walk through it. Really? Oh, thank you so much. And where's the door? And also, I can't walk. We'll talk about that later. First thing first, you must be able to talk and walk on this land. Yes, sir, that would be very great. I'm afraid I won't be able to bring your human body back. 
Only the Great Wizard could do that. But we'll talk more about him after the procedure. He must first understand our language. But how will I ever understand your language? Eat this fruit. And I'll just... Oh! That's disgusting! Your ears and tongue will be able to understand. But not your eyes. That means you won't be able to read. Don't worry about that. I can always ask. Excuse me, do you understand what I say, human lady? Yes, I do. And you sound so kind. This is incredible. Did you understand, my kitty? I didn't. Your Highness, I demand one fruit for myself. <laughs> yeah, really, I do. You don't need the fruit, Mr. Midnight. Our land is based on fragrances and sound. You'll see everything as your own world very soon, no doubt about that. You'll do fine, kitty. You know, I have a fucking name. And sir, do you know why I became a tree? Yes, but I don't think I'm the right one to give you the answers. What, what kind of response is that? Now it's time for the procedure. Are you afraid of heights? Um... <laughs> depends on the height. <laughs> Majorly. Take her upstairs immediately. Where- Oh my god, hello! What are you gonna do to me? Look at this crazy cat. They got some arms and legs. Everything will be fine. I'm waiting for you, friend. I love you. Oh my god, look at this dude. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna fly right through that window now. No, that'd be, uh, that'd be funny if I just did. Oh lord. Oh no. Oh my god. I feel like I'm in Skyloft. <laughs> He's gonna throw. Oh my god. Hey, it's the dragon from the from that movie, the Never Ending Story. That's cool. I am Palantros, and I'm your doctor today, at your humble service. <laughs> All right, really, you're a doctor now. Are you the emergency case? No, I'm just a little log with eyeballs and a mouth and nose. Wow, amazing. What a huge, beautiful, fluffy thing. Excuse me. I happen to be the dragon from the Never Ending Story whose name I cannot remember. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just that I've never seen anything like you before. I'm still trying to understand that all of this is real. I'm going by the theory. By the way, I feel like I should explain this now. I'm going by the theory that none of this is real. My theory is that this whole... The shit storm that's going on in this place is all in my imagination. That if probably some big, like heavy dose of med of of drugs or something, that I'm still in the mental hospital that is making me see all this shit. That's my theory. So I'm, I'm sick with that. My name is Fran. I'm a human girl. The king sent me here to get some arms and legs so I can go home. Oh, a human! I think we can get you a pair of arms and legs, but we'll have to travel a little bit further in order to fix that. Are you ready to enter the paws of the beast? What beast? <laughs> me. Let's go. Whee! Oh, look at this. Oh, righty then. Here we are. Wow, this place is so beautiful and peaceful. I wish I could be here forever. Thank you. This is my home. This is where I was born. The spirit of the great Valokos created it. It has the purest water in the whole universe. Oh, wow, that sounds amazing. Come by great Valokos. Haven't you heard about the five realities? No. But I'm gonna take a stab and say that the shit that I see with Duolty is probably one of them. He is the king of the first reality. A long time ago, he was at war with the darkness, and one day he fell. He fell so badly, his heart was broken. He was all alone. But he came to Eterhsta. Oh yeah, Eterhsta. And his blood made this water pink. That is why it's so pure. It's a very long story. Well, that sounds grand. I mean, I didn't know about other realities. And... How is it that you are here? What brought you to Ehrsta? My kidney and I were on our way back home. I was so happy to see him and hug him again, but then we fell. The big monster that follows me did this. He broke the bridge and he wants me dead. Who would like to see you dead? That sounds terrible. I prefer not to talk about this. But, Sir Doctor! Doctor! <laughs> yeah, I, I watch a lot of Doctor Who. So. Do you know why I became a tree? Yes, sometimes our wishes are so strong they become true. You did this in order to keep yourself alive. Oh, so I dreamed that I would become a tree so I'd survive the fall? Think about it this way. Your human body was destroyed. What it was? But you wanted to keep being Fran. So you wanted to keep your life. So you took on this empty shell to retain all your precious memories with you. It's actually the first time I've seen a human using a tree as a chrysalis. But it's dangerous to have you here. It makes our life vulnerable. I did this to myself? Well, wow, but... Palantros, sir. How? I didn't know I was doing anything. <laughs> you really didn't know what you were doing? I see. Well, 
When you travel to Ihersta, you open the door between your reality and ours. And with this door you opened, unexpected creatures can also enter our reality. Like the fucked up monsters killing me. If that happens, the battles will be tainted. And there is only one who could who would like to poison the second reality. The monster. The terrible black. That is that the name of the Ooh. I can't see this happening again. I just can't. Don't be sad, Doctor. I'm very sorry for what I did. I didn't mean to. Oh, little girl, you are so nice. And you don't have anything to be sorry for. I think you're very special. Well, let's concentrate on your arms and legs, alright? I wonder if the Terra Black is the monster that's trying to chase me. Or it's all the Soldier of the Sun, Spirit of the Water. Give Fran her arms and legs. Oh, they're gonna be vines. Whoa! How do you feel, Fran, from Ihersta? Well, I feel... Like a beautiful tree, I have leaves! I'm glad you like it. I told you we would fix. This water is magical. I can fix anything. Anything? Do you think I could fix my mommy and daddy? Uh, give it up. Everybody knows that no matter how magical and how spiritual it is, nothing can ever reverse death. What do you mean fix them? What's wrong? Nothing, doctor. Thank you very much for helping me. You're the best doctor I've ever had. And you are fluffy and beautiful. <laughs> I had another doctor before. His name was Dr. Dern. But he was an evil old man. An old man? <laughs> I bet he wasn't that bad. Maybe he was just following the rules. Let's go now. I'll leave you at the station. Okay, so basically he turned me from a tree. And now I am basically the daughter of Groot. <laughs> that's, that's hilarious. I am Groot's daughter. <laughs> Here we are again. Shows you all the king. What a nice eat. Terstanis. You've become. Thank you again, Doctor. You have to meet my kitty someday. That would be lovely. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Oh my god, I look ridiculous. You fluffy kitty. Uh huh, do you like that? Uh huh. Here I am. Fran, my dear, you got leaves on your head. How pretty. <laughs> this is hysterical. <laughs> this is just funny. All of these you. What a great Eterstanis you've become. Thank you, King Sir. The doctor was incredible. He made magic with the water. But he was sad. He told me many things, but I didn't quite understand. That's okay for night either. Don't worry. Pile and trash will be fine. I know the reasons. We have some problems to solve, but that's nothing you should worry about. Let's talk about how you can get back home, right? Yes, please. You said something about a great wizard. Yes, the great wizard is the only one who will be able to bring your human body back. And he has the stones that can help open the door that will lead you home. Where is the wizard? What stones? The sign is full of things I don't understand. <laughs> you haven't even gone outside this castle and you already want to know everything. That's the passion I was talking about. Have patience, friend. The great wizard lives in the great mountain of Kotram! But we haven't seen him for a while now. Find him and everything will be just fine. Why haven't you tried to find the great wizard yourself? Well, we don't need to. It's very logical. You see, we don't need a wizard to perform magic to prepare potions. We can do that ourselves. The wizard's most valuable task is to protect the stones that open the door. I see, so the stones are like keys, and where is this fountain you said? You'll have to ask around, follow the signs. I have to go now. But I'll be back in time to help you with the door. I have a great Eater Stop day, and good luck finding the Great Wizard. <laughs> Alright. Wow, did you see that huge fluffy creature kitty? That's Palantras, he fixed me. Yes, it's certainly very fluffy. Oh, I forgot, here's your purse. Thank you, kitty. Thank you, kitty! Do you see my pills anywhere? I don't think so. Maybe they're on the other side of the lake next to your clothes. Hmm. Well, we have other things to do anyways. We have to find the wizard. Yes, the king says something about a mountain too. Yes, Mountain Gotran! The great wizard lives there. Let's go. Oh my god. Okay, now, so the fact that I can no longer take dual team, I wonder if that'll make this game... <laughs> even the icon is a wooden hand. I wonder if that'll make this level now just a little more simpler. So just, I... So just now I won't, you know, freak out. I wonder if this leads back up to the cliff. Yeah, it does. Can I talk to Palantros? No, nope, doesn't look like it. Maybe I'll have to talk back over again later. Oh, hey, yo, what's up, brah? Giant beetle face? Whoa, hello. No, no, you can't get in, it's closed. Okay. Uh, I didn't know. Uh, what's behind there? Well, the library, of course, but it's closed. Come back in fall or winter. Then it'll be fall or winter. I want you to talk a tree I took to see Palantros. That's me. <laughs> Gave me arms and legs. Yes, and also a head. That's very positive. <laughs> yes, but why is the library closer? Well, that's logic. As the sun goes around the second moon of Itosta, we open. Only then the real knowledge will be learned. And that only happens in fall and winter. 
So, you don't learn anything while you're in summer spring? Of course we learn. We learn all the time. The learning now that you like to ask my questions. I'm very curious. That's why everything looks so different here in Itosta. I guess you are not from around here. Well, I hope to see you soon. Yes, thank you. Okay. Alright then. Uh... <laughs> Look at him flying out there. Alright. Uh, I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to be doing right now. I mean, I guess I'm just gonna... Look around, I suppose. Oh my god. Everybody is, everybody's either a, a fruit, no, everybody's either a vegetable or a bug around here. Interesting. Oh, what does this say? Alright, oh, I can't read it. Oh, wow! I don't understand. Mm, yo. Hello, sir. You mind telling me what this says? Oh, is this one of the guards that won't talk? Do you know where Mountain Coltrim is? Yes. Oh, don't you dare do this to me. Don't you give me these kinds of answers. Oh my god. Just fucking say it. Don't you dare say yes. Mm. The Mountain Coltrim is only in winter time. Oh, uh, winter time? What are you talking about? Mm. Of course, winter time. What do you think? I can't wait for winter time. Oh, you don't wait for it. You go there. What? How exactly? Ugh, sorry, but I'm not good at explaining things. Go down the stairs and then straight. You'll find a clockmaker. He can explain things. I think he tried to do before. Okay. Downstairs, find a clockmaker. Works for me. Um. Oh, fuck. I can't read the signs. Right? I probably can't. Nope. Oh, um, okay. I uh, Pictures work. Uh, fruit sand, Mount Cortrum. All right, be what? So somebody tells me if I go there, though. Oh my god! That's the ground castle. All right. Can I just talk to you? See what you. Uh, uh, this is very, it's very different. You understand the language already? Yes, I actually understood what the guard told you. I uh, so do I. I hope you find the clockmaker soon. Okay, so I'm gonna assume we just go this way. Oh! <laughs> it's the blacksmith! <laughs> Hello there, Mr. Blacksmith. It's a good day for a good fabric and thread. I am at your service. Well, it's another beetle! Hello, beetle! There's so many beetles here, I'm so I feel so at home! Oh, you're blind too? Oh, now I see. A little. You have four eyes. Wow. Uh, no, no, I don't. Well, I don't have what? What are you selling? Only the best plop bounce of this entire land. Do you want to smell it? They look like coconuts. It's poo, miss. Poo that I collect. They are not coconuts. Uh, like in the toilet? Wow, I thought it was really bad to eat poo. <laughs> yes, it is. Bad? Why? It's very yummy. We loved. Oh yes, because you are all bugs. Yeah, I'm walking away from you. Hello, blacksmith. What are you doing? Good day. I'm Pruta. I'm molding this piece of iron. For what exactly? I have to deliver a few clock pieces to the clockmaker. Oh, why don't you tell me where the clockmaker is, so I can go to said clockmaker? Oh, sure. If you have some ideas, we can talk about them. And oh, damn, I can do it. That's very good to know. Thank you, sir. Well, I have to keep working, but if you need my services, you know where I am. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to you need you later. Aha! Hello, Mr. Clockmaker. What are you doing? Working on my clock. I see. I'm looking for the wizard. Where is he? No, miss. I do clocks. I fit clocks. I listen to the clocks. Tick tock. Okay, what about Mountain Coltrum? The Guard said you knew all this shit. The mountain cold trim only exists in winter time. Otherwise, it's just a regular mountain. Well, I can't fucking wait for winter! The king said that the wizard would be there! You don't need to wait for winter to come. That's absurd. Time is an infinitely layered reality. And that means... What exactly? Go to the big clock and change the season. Just change it. Where is it, then? Well, go towards the castle, but turn to your left where you see the stairs. You'll find a big clock on the tree. Good luck. Okay, Ooh, I guess that works. 
Alright, what about you? Hello, lady. Is there any... How do you know that's a lady? Would you like to read the newspaper? I can't read it. <laughs> Etherstat... Uh, hmm. What is Etherstat's language called? Don't you know? It's called Eternish! Are you a tourist? <laughs> yes, I am! <laughs> My name is Fran. I've never seen a tourist before, and I've never seen a Fran. <laughs> Welcome to Etherstat! I hope you will have fun here. Thank you so much. I have to go now, so I guess I can't read the newspaper. Might as well just keep looking what's over here until I go back to the clock. Hello, little root. You're so cute. Oh, thank you. You're cute, too. <laughs> Why, yes, I am. <laughs> I'm Fran. And who are you? Me? No, I'm not Fran. I'm Zelda. I, I want to sing all day long. What is your favorite song, Zelda? My favorite song goes like this. One and one or two. One and two or three. Two and I like to sing about math. And three and four. I don't remember any more of that. <laughs> I learned that at school. Well, that sounds very mathematical. Indeed, it does. <laughs> All right. Interesting people. Good day, sir. Good day, little creature. You make flying boats. That sounds awesome. How does it work? Think about them floating on water. But instead of water, it's air. It's so simple. Could I borrow one of your boats? Oh, go home. I see. Sadly, these boats only work with interstellar. Huh. I see. Well, thank you, sir. Have fun making your boat. Alright. You know, I actually kind of like this place because this is the only place so far I've discovered in this game that is not all fucked up and demented and evil. It's actually kind of nice. Sort of. Oh, this must be the clock. It's a very odd clock. Where are the numbers? How do I... Okay, why don't I pull the switch? Let's see what happens. Sounds like something broke. What the hell? Alright. Is this one of those stupid bridges that's gonna retract? Hmm, I like the barrel of that boat. Alright, uh, I guess I'm up. Let's try going this way. Oh, hello, Mr. Praying Mantis, sir. Good day, Libby Creature. All good. <laughs> All good, mate. What are you doing here? I'm smelling this flower. Beautiful creation. Are you waiting for somebody? I'm I'm waiting for the lemons to grow. Do you like lemons? Too sour for my taste. Lemonade is what I will do with the lemons for the customers at the bar, you know. And we put some other stuff inside too, so we could fly. Oh, that sounds awesome! I'd like to try that. Yeah, that's why I wait. You can't rush it. Hey, the bar opens and fall on a very awesome dance rule before. You should come and hang out. Maybe I will. Sounds fun. Thank you. All right, but the stupid clock isn't working, so. Do I have to go talk to the clockmaker? This place is closed. Let's go up here. Oh, this is Mount Cortrum. I, I probably can't go here, though. Look at you guys. What are you? You look like the fairies in my books. The purest of feelings, the light of all material. We are Valokas. Oh! This is... Oh my god, that's what... What's his face? The dragon was talking about. Oh, you are very shiny, and you make me feel so happy. So very happy. Look, creature. One of the young Valokas will receive the shield. Oh my back if it here grow in my gun! Oh wow, look at that. Soldier of the sun. Creature from the soil. Fruit from the seed. Let the universe illuminate you with the truth and be free. Huh. Huh? Where are you all going? We continue our path to life. May freedom be with you, my friend. Sir or miss, can you do magical things? The universe is already doing magic all the time. You are full of magic yourself. But I wish to know things, and it's odd. I feel like you know everything. We are the light. We are everywhere. What answers are you looking for? I want to know who killed my parents, and why is that big monster hunting me? The truth will come to those who seek. Your path towards truth is immersed. You are living in a world that turns its back to you. You are too fragile to face the truth just now, and too strong to let it go. Oh god, I hate metaphors and shit. But, dear, don't be sad. We have to keep on going. Yes, Kitty, you're right. And I feel like if I fondle around with this, excuse my language, I could. Oh. Okay, alright. Um. Unfortunately, this must be moving some really weird position. I bet. 
Alright, they could each only go into two locations at once. So that's, that's reassuring. I was afraid that they were going like way more locations than just one. They probably have to be picketed in weird, weird ways or something. Time to fondle with this thing now. All right, I guess there's nothing I can do there. Mm. Okay, sit down. Okay. I can't talk to you. All right. So I don't know how the fuck this stupid clock works. Mm. All right, I might as well maybe go talk to the the clockmaker. I have a problem. And I don't have any. <laughs> the clock is broken. It can't make it work. A broken clock, that's a disgrace, poor clock. You have to help me. Please fix it for me. I beg you, I have to go home. I never fix a clock for nothing. Otherwise, my life's time goes to waste. Oh, uh, what do you mean? Well, I know what you mean. I charge one big golden coin per clock. Time is gold, you know. I don't have any gold coins. Hmm, then no clock will ever be fixed. Well, do it how- I, uh, okay. It's obvious this guy is a- the businessman, so that's not going to work. How do I get a coin, then? Look, there is a snail that loves to give gold away. Talk to him. Oh, that is great. Thank you, sir. A snail? Oh, this guy! Oh, but I probably have to play him in chess or something. Oh, tiny figures, black and white. Hello there. Good day, young one. What are you doing? The war is about to start, and I can't see meaning in the meaningless. What do you mean by that? Join me, young one. You'll be rewarded with one golden coin if you come back alive. Alive? The game is about to begin. You are the Kamalas, and I am the Volokos. Black and white, as shadows and light. It's basically chess. Please say it's like chess, because I'm deadly good at chess. Let's immerse in this adventure. You against me. I give you a coin if you win. What do you say? What are the rules? Please say it's like chess. Please. First to place three of the same figures in a diagonal, horizontal, or vertical line wins. Oh, it's... We toss the machinery so you begin... Oh! It's tic-tac-toe! <laughs> but why would you just give me the gold coin if I win? Time is gold. I'm very old. I've been around a long time. I just want to have a good time. Works for me! Alrighty. Hmm. Ah, well, technically tic-tac-toe is very unfair if you start in the middle. I think there's a way that if either if you start in the middle or you start diagonal, you can win the game. Like, oh, no. I this game always ends in ties. Always. This game will never end in victory. God damn it. I guess it's just gonna reset every time. He's gonna go. Okay, wait. Now, see, if I take middle sock, that automatically gives me so many more openings. Bam. Now you can't. Now you can't double cross me. Cause there's a way to double cross that shit. I know it also here, but you'll block off there. This computer is not stupid. Got it. God damn it. God. God damn it all. He's gonna do that one. This computer's such a dick! Ugh. I just buys this game with burning passion. I really do. It's the stupidest game in the universe. HA! HA! EAT A DICK! EAT A DICK! HA! I don't care. I got a coin. I am the master. You probably know. Holy shit. God, I hate tic-tac-toe. I really do. But Alright, well I'm gonna have to stop it here because it's getting pretty interesting now. It's not like there's gonna be a lot of steps to get out of this one. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment of what else I should play in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Laters!